Hi there, this is my sixth video response to Benefam Access video series called Satan Invented Evolution. In this video, we'll be talking about Benefam Access fourth video where it talks about um, dinosaurs and uh, and radiometric dating methods. Okay, let us begin. Benefam X started this video by saying that the biblical view of the world is the only way to make sense of all the new information that we find ar around us today. Information such as um, uh, the mm. soft tissue and the red blood cells that we find in dinosaur fossils. Okay. This is one of those things that I irritate the most when I'm watching Ben from X's video. I mean, sometimes when you say something, you, you back it up with some evidence, like a picture from a website. But other times, you just say it. You just say it, but not back it up with any evidence whatsoever. Just like in this case, we found red blood cells in, in dinosaurs. Where's the evidence to back it up? Or in the last case, uh, not a single specimen of Homo habilis has been found. Where is the evidence? Remember the quote from Christopher Hitchens, that which can be asserted without evidence can also be dismissed without evidence. And in this case, since he, he hasn't shown us any evidence whatsoever, I can just dismiss his bullshit claim without any evidence. The truth is, um, the, the truth about the, the, the red blood cells and the soft tissue is that the, the stories have been exaggerated. Uh, I found two articles on um, Talk origins, which explain this this issue correctly, the red blood cells are not red blood cells, but just but just but just uh, degraded uh, fragments of hemoglobin. I will link you I will link you guys to the to the to the articles, and you can read it for yourself. Okay, next he talked about the Ica stones. The Ica stones are stones which supposedly an ancient civilization has made, where you can see humans and dinosaurs together. He believes that this is evidence that humans and dinosaurs coexisted. And then he asks himself, how would an evolutionist date this stone? Well, problem 14, right? And then he shows us a page from Talk Origins, which says that, that um, the stones cannot be dated without knowing their source. And then he flips out! He, he totally flips out and says, this is so unfair! This is so typical! Whenever we found evidence for creationism, the evolutionist pulls something like this. This is so unfair! Okay, what is he talking about? What is the fuss all about? Well, let us read the, the, the article ourselves and see um, what the fuss is all about. Okay, we don't need the um, camp studio for this. I, I'll just move my webcam. Okay. Talk origins. The sentence that Vanden from X was reading from is this. The stones cannot be dated without knowing their source, and their source has never been revealed. Okay, remember, Vanden from X was talking about carbon-14 and radiometric dating. Where in this sentence do you see carbon-14 or radiometric dating? Where? I don't see it. Do I have to read the, the, the sentence for you again, Sean? This is not even talking about uh, radiometric dating. <laughs> Anyways, this is not the first time that, that I'm accusing Benefam X of not knowing how to read. And this is not the first time that he has misquoted something. I used to think that Benefam X was was being dishonest, but now that I see this, I, I, I'm beginning to think that he's actually, well, stupid. Stupid might be a big word, but he he's actually someone that likes to read one sentence and base a thousand conclusions, uh, base a thousand conclusions on it. Oh well, what can you do? Next, he uh, made a lot of attacks on uh, the dating methods that scientists use. For example, carbon-14 and the strata layer. The thing is. Every single one of his points, every, I mean, every single one of his points has been addressed by Talk Origins. I mean, he cannot deny that he knows about Talk Origins, right? The thing about evolutionists are, is that, and I will accuse myself first, the thing about us is that we are way too dependent on Talk Origins. Uh, most, of the, most of the debates I see online, the evolutionist team will always bring up Talk Origins. I mean, how, how many times do we link to Talk Origins? We are so dependent on Talk Origins. Talk Origins is this, Talk Origins is that, blah, blah, blah. So, if Benefam X is smart, he will already know our rebuttal. He will already know what we have to say on his arguments. But despite that, he only shows his side of the story, hoping that his audience are, are, not, are not smart enough to, to search online to see what the, what the rebuttals are to his arguments. The scary thing is, is, of course, that a lot of people are actually that lazy or, or stupid to not search for rebuttals. But anyways... Anyways... Um, Sean, if you can shut Talk Origins up, if you if you can debunk the arguments being made on Talk Origins, you can you can already shut like 90% of us up. 90% of us have no, nothing to say if uh, you can 
you, if you can debunk the arguments on top of origins. But you don't do that. You only show your side of the story, hoping that other people are stupid enough to believe it. Why, Sean? Why don't you address the points being made on Talk Origins? Why don't you do that, Sean? What are you afraid of? Anyways, that was my video. We are more than halfway through this series now. I mean, just two more videos, and we are done with this whole Satan Invented Evolution crap. I hope you enjoyed it, and stay tuned for two more videos.